American television sitcom One on One aired for five seasons on UPN from September 3rd, 2001 to May 15th, 2006. The series was a joint production of the Greenblatt Genelari Studio and Daddy's Girl Productions in association with Paramount Network Television. It stars Flex Alexander as Flexster Alexander Barnes Washington, or simply Flex, former professional basketball player turned sportscaster, who works for the fictional WYNX TV in Baltimore, Maryland. He resides in the ultimate bachelor pad, lives a comfortable lifestyle, and is quite the ladies' man. All that changes after he becomes a full-time father, when his ex-wife, Nicole Barnes, played by Tashina Arnold, decides to accept a job out of the country, and his teenage daughter, Brianna Barnes, played by Kyla Pratt, moves in with him. Flex's best friend and Brianna's godfather, Dwayne Odell Knox, played by Kelly Perrine, is a used car salesman who lives in the same building and across the hall from Flex and Brianna. Brianna's best friend is Clotilde Freedom Jones, better known as Spirit, played by Cicely Sewell. She was actually taking a break from acting when her mother got a call from Kyla's mother to let her know that Kyla was about to do a show and they wanted all her real life friends that were also in the industry to audition for the role of her friend. Cicely and Kyla also share the same agent. Brianna's other best friend, Arnez Ballard, played by Robert Richard, is the object of her on-again, off-again affection. The two finally became a couple in the latter part of the series, only to later break up. Like Cicely, Robert and Kyla already knew each other prior to working together. He said in interviews that even though they were romantically linked on the show, he's always looked at her as a little sister. The theme song, composed by Jonathan Wolfe and Becky Newbel, was performed by Flex's real-life wife, Shanice, and Anthony Charles Williams II, who at the time went by his gospel moniker, Tone. <laughs> While television producer and writer Yunetta T. Boone is credited with creating the show, in a 2021 podcast interview, Flex claims that he did. He also said that the idea came from two of his life experiences. One of his best friends from Harlem, who was a single dad, as well as a Coca-Cola television commercial with LL Cool J he saw where LL was trying to do his daughter's hair. It was then that he realized that this was a great concept for a TV show. It should also be mentioned that he realized that the concept wasn't original, since other sitcoms like The Cosby Show and My Two Dads showed fathers in a similar dynamic. Flex's intention, though, was to show a single Black father embracing his responsibilities to contrast the typical deadbeat dad narrative. He explained that he brought Yunetta into the mix after he attempted to bring the show to ABC and then later Fox. He ended up not getting any credit as a creator because he didn't register his ideas with the Writers Guild of America. Kyla was just 12 years old when the pilot was first shot in 1999. It didn't hit the air until two years later when it was ultimately picked up by UPN, hence why she looks so much more grown up between the first and second episodes. In the fifth season, a slew of changes so big that One on One essentially became an entirely different show took place. The premise was revamped to focus on Brianna and her relationships with her friends in college, as opposed to the original father-daughter dynamic, so Flex was phased out of the series. Later, he did appear occasionally as a recurring character. The location of the show moved from Maryland to California when Brianna decided to attend the California Institute of the Arts. Arnez, after professing his love for her at the end of season four, follows. They moved in with four other roommates and new main cast members, Cash, played by Jonathan Chase, Lisa, played by Camille Mana, Sarah, played by Nicole Paggy, and Dmac played by Ray J. Fun fact, Ray J's real life sister Brandy was also featured on the show as his character Dmac's sister, Michelle McGinty. Unfortunately, viewers weren't given much time to get used to the changes, as One on One ended up being canceled several months before the WB and UPN merged to form the CW. The way things were framed in the media, though, was that the reason for the cancellation was due to low ratings. It's true that the ratings for season five were lower than the previous seasons, but that didn't mean that they weren't high enough to keep the show going. Then, in 2015, Robert spoke to Madame Noir about what really caused One-on-One -on -one to come to an end. 
According to him, there should have been another several seasons where fans would see Brianna and Arnez get back together, marry, and have a family. It never happened because of Will Smith. You see, Will, along with his wife Jada, are the creators and executive producers behind another UPN sitcom airing at the same time called All of Us. Naturally, and allegedly, he used his star power to keep his show on the air while One on One got kicked to the curb. During the last season, a spinoff called Cuts debuted. It followed Flex's younger stepbrother, Kevin Barnes, running the local barbershop slash day spa with a spoiled brat named Tiffany Sherwood after her father, Jack Sherwood, purchased the shop. It lasted for two seasons and was also canceled when the UPN and the WB merge happened. In 2022, both Cicely and Kelly spoke to Comedy Hype about their departures from the show. Cicely says that the feedback she got from the powers that be wasn't the feedback that the fans got. She was specifically told that people weren't tuning in for Spirit, so they were going to go in a different direction and get rid of her character. Cicely also touched on the timing aspect of UPN merging with the WB and the focus on wanting to marry the two audiences. Apparently, that meant bringing in white characters. While she was sad about the experience coming to an end, she was happy that she'd now have time to pursue another passion, cooking. She later took things to the ultimate level by attending culinary school and opened her own restaurant. Kelly was pretty much told the same thing regarding the show moving in a different direction. While he says the decision was unfortunate and he'd miss working with everyone, he didn't take it personally. When asked what he thought about the move of adding white characters to the cast to bring in more white viewers, he accepts that two things could be true at the same time. The network simply wanted to make changes that would build a greater audience and that those changes were focused on getting more white people to tune in. He also added that whitewashing is just business, and at the end of the day, the only color the networks really see is green. In 2018, Flex posted a video clip on his Instagram admitting that all of the reboot talks had him in his feelings, and he wanted to see if fans would actually watch a one-on-one -on -one reboot. Many fans took to the comments to show their support and tag Netflix in hopes for a potential partnership. One on One joined Netflix in 2020. To celebrate the premiere, all five original cast members reunited on Zoom for the first time since the show went off the air. After a fan asked about a reboot, Flex would confirm that he had actually already written a script and that everyone is on board if and when things move forward. 